This is cowboy. Yeah! A Cambodian cowboy, to be more geographically precise. This is the third time I've visited Siem Reap, gateway to the ancient temple complex known as Angkor Wat. Built in the 12th century, Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument in the world. In the 12th century, the magnificent city of Angkor was home to over one million residents at a time when cities like London and Paris were little more than villages. But at some point, and for reasons not entirely clear, Angkor Wat receded into the dense jungle. Of course, locals always knew it was there, but it wasn't rediscovered by the rest of the world until the early 1800s. Today, Angkor Wat stands as one of the great wonders of the world. But in addition to over 1,000 ancient temples scattered across this province, Cowboy says there's another side of Siem Reap, and he promised to take me and my good friend, Chef Philip McDonald, there. So what you're saying is, is that this whole area is riverbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so in October, yeah. we would be in water right here, all yeah, around us. Yeah, 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 yes, sir. So, wow. And so this is, these are rice fields? Yeah, 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 rice field. And so do they plant the rice now? Yeah. And then what happens? They, they plant the rice, and then when the water goes down, the rice has grown? Yeah, maybe from here, five meter. So it would be, you could bring a boat, yeah, the boat. to this building. Yeah, yeah, the building. And uh, five, maybe the water up here, uh, the river, and uh, raining too much, and full here, five meter. Wow. And so when does that happen? When will the water be back? Uh, October, December, the for uh, three months. Three, three months. months yeah, yeah, okay. For, for water up. So this is part of the Mekong River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parking, yeah, parking Mekong River. But right now, the move the water is down for bear. Okay. Yeah, the so middle there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we saw a, a crocodile carcass yeah. down the, the road. So obviously, there's uh, things in the water. What else is in there? Lots of snakes. Snake, yeah, many, many snakes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Cobras? Yeah. Cobra, uh, bur pythons? You have many, many snakes. Okay. Yeah, a lot okay. of snakes, a lot of uh, the water snake, and a poisonous snake, and danger snake, a lot, a lot. Really? Snake, yes. mouse, also mouse. Okay. Yeah, okay. and snail, eel, and uh, eel. water snake. Yeah, eel also. Wow. <laughs> wow. And you said this hill over here yeah. is kind of famous because... That's where Pol Pot, yeah, Pol Pot. He, yeah. he was hiding from capture yeah, 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 yeah. for how many months was he uh, there? Five months. So yeah. you were saying that the reason they discovered that he was there is that some of their goats were eating grass yeah. and all goats of a sudden would, would blow up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because they had stepped on a mine. Yeah, yeah. And so they called the police? Yeah, I called the uh, police and uh, contacted the, 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 the man, the control we like there. Why have the... Why do my goats keep blowing up? Yeah, <laughs> right. three times. Three different goats. Yeah, yeah. Three times for uh, the bomb. The bomb, boom, and people, why? Like, Bombay. where did that come from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so they found out that he was hiding with his men. He yeah. was hiding. You yeah. also provide beer, yeah. and water and drinks yeah. as part of it. But also, the, one of the cool things is the music. <laughs> like, being able to play your own music, being able to plug your iPhone in and listen have to your this, own music. Yeah, had the, And a disco ball. Yeah, I disco mean, bar for the night time after sunset, disco bar. And, yeah, uh, this is cool. And uh, karaoke. You want to see? This yes. Karaoke. Have eight and four, you want some karaoke? We have karaoke. Uh, karaoke? Oh my! Fun <laughs> 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 song, yeah. After uh, with my customer from on the way. Oh, come on, I want a song. Yeah. All right. Well, this trip just got Take more interesting. Take me home <laughs> to, to the, the place I belong. West Virginia. Why I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs>
During our exploration of the Cambodian countryside, Cowboy asked if we'd like to buy some books, pens, and candy to share with children in some of the local villages. He assured us there was no pressure whatsoever, but that it was something he enjoyed doing for the kids. Of course, we enthusiastically agreed, and we stopped by a local store to buy coloring books, pens, and a few bags of candy. We assembled bags full of books, and, well, this is what happened. My name is Mike. Uh, Hello. 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 How are you? Come on. Hi. You're here. You want a book? Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hi. Candy? There you go. Okay. Hello, you want a piece of candy? Okay. This wasn't a charity. It wasn't a good deed. It hardly cost anything. It was just a way for us to see a little bit of authentic village life while bringing smiles to a few young faces. Honestly, I didn't know if I should share this part of our trip or not, but I've been here three times and never even knew this was an option. So I thought, if you don't talk about it, how will visitors even know to ask? So you can be the judge whether it's appropriate or not, but most people only come to see them reap for only a couple of days. They bounce in, sweat their way across Angkor Wat, and bounce right back out. So if you ever get a chance to visit this incredible country, I hope you'll consider extending your stay by at least a day to explore the real Cambodia, and perhaps share a little happiness along the way. Yesterday we went to Angkor Wat. There are over 2,000 yeah. temples here yeah. in, yeah. in, in, in Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah. Yeah. Many, many. One temple, one story. A lot of the temples. And yeah. we only went to three yesterday, and that just blows my mind. Yeah. I mean, just how how just massive they are, and and essentially, I mean, 800 years ago, there were a million people living. Yeah, in, yeah, in, sure. in Angkor yeah. Wat. Yeah, and uh, all the story in my country before do temple, no have machine, no have grand by elephant brimstone from the mountain Incredible. and cow and horse yeah, for do temple. But I have to tell you one of the highlights, I mean, everybody who comes to see them reap will of course go to Angkor Wat, but what made this tour different is you can plug in your own music, you plug in your own playlist. He provides all of the amazing Cambodia beer and uh, also then takes you to places that no other tourists ever see. You know, if you come to see him reap, of course you're going to see the temples, of course you're going to go explore the ruins, but this takes it to a whole new level where you're going to get to see real village life, you're going to get to see the Mekong River, you're going to get to see fishing villages, and you're going to get to see these villages where these cute kids um, are just excited to see you and excited to meet someone. So thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, cowboy. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you too. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs>